Margaret Wrinkle's Wash is a novel that takes readers on a journey through the life of a slave woman named Pallas. The book is set in the early 1800s in Alabama and explores the complexities of slavery, gender, and power dynamics within the system of enslavement. The novel begins with Pallas being sold away from her mother and siblings and sent to live on a plantation with her new owner, Richardson. Pallas quickly learns that her new life will be filled with hard labor, violence, and sexual exploitation. However, despite the difficult circumstances, Pallas finds ways to resist and assert her agency, refusing to be completely controlled by her master. One of the most striking aspects of Wash is the way in which Wrinkle challenges traditional narratives of slavery and resistance. While many stories of enslaved people focus on heroic figures who rebel against their oppressors, Wrinkle portrays a more complex and nuanced picture of resistance. Pallas resists in subtle ways, through small acts of rebellion in everyday forms of survival. For example, she refuses to wear a collar like the other enslaved women and instead ties her headscarf in a way that sets her apart. She also steals scraps of fabric and thread to sew together a small quilt, which she uses as a source of comfort and resistance. At the same time, Wrinkle also portrays the brutal reality of slavery, and the ways in which it dehumanizes both enslaved people and their owners. The relationship between Pallas and Richardson is particularly fraught, as Richardson both desires and fears Pallas, and uses violence to exert control over her. Meanwhile, Pallas is forced to navigate a world where her body and labor are not her own, and where she is constantly at risk of violence and exploitation. Throughout the novel, Wrinkle also explores the gender dynamics of slavery, highlighting the ways in which women are particularly vulnerable to sexual exploitation and abuse. Pallas is repeatedly subjected to unwanted advances from her master and other men on the plantation, and her body is treated as a commodity to be bought and sold. However, Wrinkle also shows the ways in which women find solidarity and support in each other, and how they use their relationships to resist and survive. Another important theme in Wash is the tension between Christianity and slavery. Many slave owners used religion to justify their ownership of other human beings, and Wrinkle explores the ways in which Christianity was used as a tool of oppression. However, she also portrays enslaved people as having their own complex relationships with religion, using it as a source of comfort and resistance in their daily lives. Overall, Wash is a powerful and thought-provoking novel that challenges readers to confront the realities of slavery and the legacies of that system in our world today. Wrinkle's nuanced and complex portrayal of resistance and survival offers a fresh perspective on a topic that has been explored in countless works of literature. By focusing on the experiences of a single enslaved woman, she creates a deeply personal and emotional story that will stay with readers long after they have finished the book.